here's my review for the Gosh Cross Plus Duo Protector Protect for iPhone 5. I'm actually doing this review using an iPod Touch instead of an iPhone, um, which I talked to uh, the company and told them I'd be doing this. Um, I received this product free or at a discounted rate, but my opinions are my own and not reflective of uh, receiving that discount or free item. Um, right now I'm showing you the case that it actually comes in, which is a pretty solid case. So it comes mailed to you pretty protected. Um, and then here's my wife's iPod. Um, one thing was that the iPods are a little bit thinner than the iPhones, so uh, I told them that I would stick a piece of serial cardboard uh, in the back of it to help make up the difference um, for the, the thickness. Um, before, when I didn't have that cardboard in it, this thing fell apart pretty quick. Now that the cardboard uh, is in it, it makes up for that thickness, it doesn't slide around, and uh, it holds... Um, it holds the iPod pretty good. Um, one thing you'll notice though is over on this side you can see that it's bowed out a little bit. That's because the buttons don't line up with the button holes. On the iPhone this would be uh, a mute sliding switch I believe and then your up and down volume buttons would be here. So this little bridge piece right here is actually pushing against the uh, volume up button but all the rest of the holes line up uh, pretty good. Um, I've had this case on it most of the day, putting it in and out of my pocket, and it seems to hold up, um, hold up pretty good. Um, let me just show you how it comes apart. I just grab it here. This just snaps off. You can see there's a groove there that fits in, slides into it. Oh, there's a picture of our kids. This comes off. As you can see, I could probably snap this pretty easily without much effort. So it, it's not the best protection. It also comes with a screen uh, protector. Here's the serial board. And I just use this clear plastic piece to, uh, to trace it out. Now another downside of using it on an iPod, um, and I need to cut that hole out of there to uh, use the camera is uh, you wouldn't be able to get the coloring of the iPod or the iPhone you wouldn't be using this if you're using an iPhone though um, so overall I rated it a 3 um, not because it doesn't work so well with the iPod like I was hoping to but uh, mostly just because of the the construction I mean it's it's good and it'll protect your 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 iPhone um, but if these pieces were to come off all of a sudden your phone is not protected anymore um, and it seems pretty flimsy but then again it's uh, a bumper cover that costs less than ten bucks so I just rated it as three for for average I don't see anything too special about it